Student Playback, High School Game of the Week. A full game recorded, edited, and produced completely by the students of Franklin County High School. This is Student Playback, High School Game of the Week. Sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. And welcome to high school football here on CW5. Yours truly, Dave Ross, along with Dave Mellon. And they're the Catawba Crazies, as they're called here who are definitely fired up for this battle between these unbeatens, the Lloyd Botetot Cavaliers and the Stanton River Golden Eagles. And I'll tell you what, Dave, you couldn't fit anybody else in here if you tried. Let me just first say it's an honor to be next to a living legend in Roanoke Valley Sports Broadcasting. And those crazies have been here for uh, at least a couple of hours getting tuned up for this game, which should be a good one. Well, I'll tell you what, you think about it, this area with, with this game tonight, and then of course tomorrow night, Virginia Tech and Clemson, there's a lot of good football we're sure ahead of us. Sure is. All right, well, we the uh, Stanton River Golden Eagles will receive the kickoff. We'll tell you that Monty Sanders is our referee. Our umpire is Andy McCready. The head linesman, Dustin Price. Dan Flieger, our line judge. The field judge, Scotty Smith. Jerry Henderson is our side judge. And Jacob A.G., the back judge. That's how we're set. We're ready for the kickoff. Bada Tots, Trey Rice will kick it off. Back in the middle there, deep is Preston Martin. And uh, also back deep for the, or is Caleb Jones and also TJ Tester. This one will come down. It will be taken by Tester at the five. He's out to the 20, the 25, and across the 25 to the 26. There to meet him and do the job on special teams was David Braswell. So that'll be a first and 10 market at the 26. And we will see in action the Stanton River football team. And they've got some uh, guys that can move. Listen to this, Dave. Grayson Overstreet has run for a total of 90 points. He has averaged better than 13 yards a carry. So not a lot of passes tonight, I expect. No, sir. No, sir. There's a handoff. And getting that one was Caleb Jones. Now, again, you'll see this offense. They have Caleb Jones in that backfield along with Grayson Overstreet, the gentleman we were talking about, Brock Porter, TJ Tester. They, they have a lot of different weapons. And defensively, it's going to be important for guys like that front line of uh, Mead Mayo, Colston Powers and uh, Noah Overstreet to do the job here. So a short gain on first down of two, second and eight. There it'll be, pitch wide, and they're not gonna get anywhere. Once again, they went to Caleb Jones, and Jones was met by a host of those tacklers. One of the uh, first to get a hold of him and do a heck of a job was Carlton Emerson, and that then the rest of the pursuit brought him down, so that will be a loss of a yard, third and nine. So uh, Botetot also can run the ball uh, pretty well. It's going to be up to the defenses tonight to uh, see who can stop the other team. Exactly. That's going to be the case because, as you say, Hunter Rice, who's the uh, very outstanding freshman running back for Botetot, he is a great one too. There will be a run, and they drive. They get to the 30, and that's it. The middle of that defense did a heck of a job. Big number 72 was right there to get a hold of him. That was uh, Jesse Hansen, and they bring the ball carrier down. So this will be fourth down, and we shall see what the uh, Golden Eagles will do. Now, as you can see, they're set up as though they're going to run. Yeah. And now they move it back, and Jones is the punter, and that's not a, a good one. And it will bounce, and it will roll out of bounds in Stanton River territory at the 47. So uh, great field position for the Cavaliers to start it off. Early momentum goes to Botetourt, and that's going to keep this crowd fired up. Uh, we saw the Catawba crazy, so you will definitely <laughs> see that. So that will be a case of quarterback Preston Martin at the controls for this Lord Botetot football team. As we mentioned, the freshman, Hunter Rice, he has run for 965 yards. He's averaging about seven yards a carry, and he has scored 10 touchdowns. 
There will be the handoff, and that's Rice. Rice fights his way across the, to close to the 45-yard line. Met there uh, on that defensive forward wall. A couple of those defenders were able to bring him down, including Dakota Williams. That will be a short gain. That's a gain of just two, second down and eight. So the Cavaliers in Stanton River territory at the 46, second and long. There it will be, that's a quarterback Martin and Martin gets a yard to the 45. He was initially hit there as coming up to uh, deliver the job there was uh, Tony Chinchilla and then the ball carrier was met by a couple of those other defenders including uh, Antonio Dumar. So that will be a gain of just one third and seven. So a very similar type of start for Bonitot as it was for the Gold Niggle. Both teams coming out running like we expected, and the defense so far has met the challenge. They certainly have. Both have done well. All right, you'll see backs to either side of the quarterback, Martin, and there's going to be a penalty marker. And this will cost the offside, so that makes it a much better situation. Instead of third and seven, now you got to – much more manageable third and two, and even if you wanted, could probably go on fourth down. And that's probably what they're gonna do. If they don't make it on third down. Well, we'll see what happens here. Clock is running here. We have played three and a half minutes of this first quarter, no score between Lord Bonitot and Stanton River, and what is a great night for high school football. There's the handoff to Hunter Rice, and Rice will get the first down. Rice drove it over that left side and got some decent running room. And uh, he was met by Trent Thomason. That offensive alignment for the Cavaliers. They've got Lee Kreider at tight end, Drew Wiley, Spencer Farrell, Shane Wolford, Grayson Evans, and Jesse Hansen along that front. The quarterback is Preston Martin. As we mentioned, that uh, great running back, Hunter Rice. You also see Ethan Clower in there, Jake DeWeese, and Dylan McLaughlin. Here we go with a handoff again to Rice. Rice is to the 32. First guy to make contact with him and bring him to the turf for the uh, Golden Eagles was Sam Kirtley. Kirtley dropped him, but a gain of five, second and five. So a nice drive here on this initial opportunity for the Cavaliers. And helped by that uh, offside penalty. Just gave him a third and short situation. And they capitalized on it as uh, able to get the first down. And more was uh, Rice. Now it's a second and five here. Here's a run again. This time Preston Martin, the quarterback, takes it inside the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Once again, Tony Chinchilla was there. Had a little bit of help as well on that defensive side of the football by Brock Porter. So that will be a gain and make it third and three at the 29-yard 29, uh, 29 line in Golden Eagle territory. Behind the quarterback is Rice. He'll get the football. He keeps it to the 25. He's to the 20. He's in to the 15-yard line. A nice run by Hunter Rice. And the guy that had to keep hanging tough was Antonio Dumeyer. And uh, along with Chinchilla, they bring him down. But that's first and 10 at the 15. Hard to believe he's only a freshman. 6'1", 200. Yeah, he is a, he, he, he's a freshman. Took three guys to haul him down. And he did a heck of a job. He's run very effectively. We've seen Martin carry it uh, once or twice. But other than that, it has been mainly Rice, here he goes 10, here he goes five, and knocked down as he hit the three yard line. The guy who had to save that was Caleb Jones, but that will be a first and goal, and the ball is inside the five yard line. That is a heck of a job done by Hunter Rice, and the clock is moving. We're midway through quarter number one, no score, but the Cavaliers of Lord Botetot are knocking at the door with a first down and goal, the ball at the three yard line. LB Rice again, Rice this time stopped the middle of that uh, defensive forward wall, Hayner and Mason Miller drop him. 
but uh, he'll gain a couple and they'll mark it at the two yard line. So now second and goal at the two. You think Rice will get it another uh, time or two here? I would put money on it. But then again, you got Preston Martin, who's a good quarterback, and you can always uh, fake that out as well. And coming into the lineup is Jake DeWeese. He will move out to the left side. And now you have Rice off to the right. And Preston Martin, touchdown. So from two yards out, Preston Martin goes in and gives the Cavaliers a 6-0 lead. After that short punt, they go 47 yards and in to the end zone. I think maybe Stanton River was thinking like I was that uh, Rice was going to get the ball and left uh, quarterback wide open. So there you have it. Now another Rice. This one is Trey Rice. We'll try the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. So there's a timeout here on the field with a score. Lord Bonnetot seven, Stanton River nothing. We're back with more first quarter action right after this. Student Playback High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. All right, Dave Ross, welcoming back here to this game on CW5 with my good buddy Dave Mellon. Glad to be here in what is a beautiful night for football, a tremendous crowd here. And after a 47-yard drive, it was capped off by a short run from Preston Martin. Trey Rice added the extra point, so it's 7-0. And Stanton River now going to want to get their offense cranked up as well. And that drive also aided by that big penalty that uh, prevented a third and long. You're right. You're right. It went from a third and seven to a third and two, and they got the first down. Rice will kick this one off. It's taken by Caleb Jones. He bobbles it. He's out to the 20. He's out to the 25 and fights his way across the 25 out to the market to right at about that 30 yard line. So that is where this offense of the Golden Eagles will try to take over. Now remember on their first opportunity, they went uh, three and out and that led to the touchdown by the Lord Bonnetot Cavaliers. Here will be the direct snap and there's a penalty marker. And we'll see what this one is. This win is going to be offsides against Bonnetot. And sometimes you'll see that where they might do some different things as far as cadence and all that. So that's going to cost them five, and it'll make it first and five. And putting guys in motion, too, may have thrown them off. So with a first down and five, the Golden Eagles trying to do something here. There was a direct snap, and look at it. There's a nice job run. They got that straight back to Grayson Overstreet, and Overstreet powered his way over the 40, down to the 43. A couple of those defenders, including Colston Powers, were there to bring him down. First and 10. He had a head of steam there. Looked like he was going to go a lot farther. He is something else, Grayson Over. We I tell you, there's a lot of talent on these two football teams. And that is definitely the case. So a first and 10, they'll mark it at the 43 in Golden Eagle territory. And this time they'll lose yardage. Or they'll gain, not lose, they'll gain a couple. That one went to, to another one of their good ones, TJ Tester. Now Tester has gained uh, close to 500 yards in the season. And he averages like 14 yards a carry. So I mean, Every overshadowed. Yeah. overshadowed is right. They got enough running backs in this offensive array to do it. Now, you'll see them. They get it to Caleb Jones. There goes Overstreet. And Overstreet drove to the midfield stripe. The ball popped loose. And they say, I think he's down. I believe, yep, that's what the official said. Boy, that's a dodging a bullet for the Golden Eagles. 
huge break for uh, Stanton River. So Stanton River has it. Uh, that was a gain of a couple, about third and four. The ball just shy of midfield in Stanton River territory at the 49. No score, or I should say a score of 7-0 Lord Bonitat getting that touchdown. And the Golden Eagles trying to answer here. There they go. That's going to be driving over the midfield stripe to the 48. It's going to be a little shy of the first down. That was again TJ Chester. And uh, he was met there by that defense. Carlton Emerson was there. Also had some help as well from Jake DeWeese. So fourth down and short. I think they feel they might as well go for it because we're inside of three minutes left in the first quarter. And they've got the running backs to, uh, to get a couple of yards. They will mark it at the 48. They are in Bonitot territory. There's a direct snap and driving and getting the first down is Caleb Jones. Jones got the direct snap and he's another fine runner on this football team. Jones is a 5'9", 175 pound senior and he gets the first down and this will give a fresh set of downs for Stanton River, first and 10 at the 45. And that's a big play for Stanton River. If Lord Bonitat had held him there, that would have really been a uh, big momentum boost for the Cavaliers. You're exactly right, because they would have been at about the midfield stripe and have another short field. But instead, Caleb Jones gets the first down, mark it at the 45. There's Jones, he fakes it, gonna go to the 40, 35-30, and tripped up inside the 30 at the 28. And the guy who had to save that was Evan Eller. The 190 pound sophomore, Caleb Jones, took that snap and rambled his way inside the 30 down to the 27. He uh, faked the handoff and actually went behind his back. Looked like Stephen Curry out there. <laughs> he did. He took it behind his back and then went around. And there is a timeout here on the field. And we'll take one as well with a score. Seven to nothing in favor of Lord Bonitat. We're back with more first quarter action after this. Student playback, high school game of the week continues next. You're watching Student Playback High School Game of the Week. Sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Well, we're going to keep it here. Stanton River just called a timeout after Bonitot did. Talk things over. If you're just joining us, the Cavaliers of Lord Bonitot got the uh, touchdown on a short run from quarterback Preston Martin. Trey Rice added the extra point. That's how we stand at 7 nothing. But the Golden Eagles of Stanton River are moving the football and have a first down inside the 30 at the 27 of Lord Bonitat. Been an interesting football game. And as you mentioned, Dave, before the start of this game, uh, with these teams not passing the ball much, that clock moves and moves rapidly, especially because not only do they run the football, but they haven't gotten out of bounds, which doesn't stop the clock. We haven't had many penalties, so that clock is moving. So they both probably could have used those two timeouts here to just catch their breath. Exactly. I mean, you got to, because this is, it's a much cooler night than we've had in some of the past days, but still a little high on the temperature side. There's Jason Overstreet over the 25, down to the 24. He was met there by Emerson and Matt Clemens, but that'll be a gain of three, second and seven. Stanton River trying to even this thing up against the Lord Bonitat Cavaliers. As we mentioned, both of these teams unbeaten in the Blue Ridge District. Lord Bonitat uh, has a victory earlier this year against a very good Blacksburg team that knocked off Salem last week. Here goes TJ Tester. He's going to throw the football, and it's intercepted. It is intercepted back there by Jake DeWeese. They were looking out there to try to get it to the tight end, Sam Kirtley, but it was a little underthrown. And now 
Bonitat's in business at their own three yard line. He had him open, but he just didn't have, uh, took too long to get him the ball. Yep, that hung up in the air too long and able to get it was Jake DeWeese. So DeWeese gets the interception and it means that the Cavaliers are gonna start at their own three yard line, leading seven nothing here in the waning moments of this uh, first quarter of play. There will be a run. Hunter Rice gets over the five out to about the eight. Caleb Jones was there and also Chinchilla, but that'll be a nice gain of five. It'll be second and five. However, there is a penalty marker back here. Let's see what this is. And that is just uh, not a penalty marker that they'll take. That's just a warning, a sideline where they tell the coaches and so forth they have to move back. So there is no penalty. That gets a gain of five, second and five for Bonitat leading seven, nothing, but deep in their own territory at the eight yard line. Coach is getting excited just like this crowd is. <laughs> you better believe it. You got people lined up around fe the fence and everything else here. Here goes a nice run. That time they get it over the 10 yard line. Hunter Rice again. He will get it uh, to the, looks like about the 12 yard line. So they need about a yard for the first down at the 12 yard line. Clock is moving. And I think the officials are gonna measure this thing because it's close enough for that. Once again, the score here, seven nothing. Lord Botetourt after a short punt they went 47 yards, capped off by a Preston Martin touchdown run and a Trey Rice extra point. Then a good drive done by Stanton River, but they had the interception by Jake DeWeese. And now the uh, Botetot Cavaliers trying to get a first down and are just a little shy. They'll mark that down. The way that looks is uh, probably about a half yards shy of that first down. This is a big play for the uh, Golden Eagles defense. If they can hold them here, a punt will give uh, Stanton River good field position. It certainly will. They want to hold them here because if not, the Cavaliers can milk some more of that clock. The clock is running. This may be the last play of this uh, first quarter. There's the run and gonna get the first down to the 15. Nice job done. The first guy to make contact with him was Dakota Williams and then finished off by Caleb Jones, but that's enough for the first down to the 15 yard line. And once they set the sticks, we start this clock running. And I'm not sure if the Cavaliers will run another play or let this go into the second quarter. And that appears is what they're gonna do. That let that clock run, and that will be the end of quarter number one here with a score. The Lord Bonitot Cavaliers seven. The Stanton River Golden Eagles nothing. We're back with second quarter action right after this. Student Playback High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Beautiful night here in the Botetourt County with the Lord Botetourt Cavaliers leading 7 0. Get a fresh set of downs. Dave Ross along with Dave Mellon. Glad to be a part of this CW5 telecast and uh, nice first down to get out of the shadow of the end zone for the uh, Cavaliers. Sure was. Here they go. They'll get this running, getting good yardage, and driving it all the way past the 25-yard line. That time, a good run, and that was taken. Preston Martin takes that and gains yardage to the 20. They'll mark it at the 25, first and 10. Sam Kirtley made the defensive stop for the Golden Eagles, but they get a fresh set of downs. First and 10 
just underway here in second quarter. At Lord Bonnetot, the Cavaliers with a first and 10 at the 25. There you'll see the shift and there will be procedure. So that'll cost them five and instead of first and 10, it's gonna be first and 15 for the Cavaliers of Lord Bonnetot. Been a very fast moving, needless to say, first half thus far because of the fact that these two teams are running teams. They don't throw much and you don't have a lot of uh, time where it goes out of bounds or the like. So here we are with a first and 15. There it's back to Martin. Martin tries to find some room, but he ain't gonna get much this time. Martin is might lose a yard as that defensive job done by Caleb Jones, they'll lose about a yard and a nice job done by that defense. He maybe lost more than just a yard. So now you've got it second down and what with that penalty and so forth, uh, it's about 17 for the first down. The ball is inside the uh, 20 yard line. So the Cavaliers trying to get something going here after an initial first down and then another one. Here they go, that's gonna be a pass and then tucking it under is Martin and a good open field tackle right there by Grayson Overstreet. So that will be a gain back to about the original line of scrimmage and make it a third and and about nine for the first down. And he had a receiver wide open in the middle of the field, but too much pressure, he just couldn't get him the ball. Overstreet's the guy who did it. Again, you hear a lot of his name as far as running the football, but he is also a very talented defender as well. Third and nine, the ball at the 26 yard line. There will be, and there's a run, and that is driving, oh, close to that first down yardage, and it will depend on the spot. Nice job done there as running with that football getting the chance and uh, doing a good job was Kyle Coom and Coom gets it just over the 35 so they get a fresh set of downs. That was a good job by Stan River defense. They uh, held him from getting any extra yards but the uh, mark of the ball gave him just enough for a first down. Yep, just across the 35 so first and 10. There they go back to Rice, Rice to the 40, and Rice to the 42-yard line for he is upended right there by the defender, Antonio Dumar. Got to give a lot of credit to that uh, Botetot offensive line, guys like Drew Wiley, Spencer Farrell, uh, Shane Wolford, Grayson Evans, and Jesse Hansen because they've done a nice job of opening up that uh, – offense for their running back. This has got to be tough on the defense too to be out there, uh, the clock keep running. They don't get much of a breather. No, they don't. And there will be a drive. That's gonna get a couple. Two of those guys that made contact were Chinchella and also some help from Brock Porter. But that'll be a decent gain and it goes over the 40 to the 43. So here we go, third and three again and as you say Dave the thing about it is we've already played better than three minutes of the second quarter and Stanton River had that one drive which helped their defense but the uh, time of possession has been good for this Bonitot team the defense has been on the field a long time and they're going to take another break well, they're going to take a timeout talk things over for coach Jamie Harless and his Bonitot Cavaliers and we'll take one as well. The score here, Lord Bonnetot seven, Stanton River nothing. We're back with more second quarter action after this. Student Playback, high school game of the week. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Back to action we come here with the Lord Bonnetot Cavaliers, third down and three. They have it at their own 43-yard line. There will be the handoff, and driving might be another first down as they were able to get that. That was taken. And uh, Hunter Rice got it, and it looks like it's going to be another measurement here. Looks like he's going to be just short. Yeah. I think you're right. I think if he, it, it, it's going to be like maybe a nose of the football just shy or a tad more. But I think he had to get to that 46-yard uh, line, and I think he's just shy of it. So let's see what the chain gang tells us on this one. They stretch out those chains and yeah, I was right at just that nose of the football. So when you have this kind of offensive weaponry and we've seen Preston Martin, he has a touchdown with only a foot to go with a guy like the center, Shane Wolford, you can go over him and just boom, pile it in for the first down. Makes it awfully tough on that defense, doesn't it? You bet. Yeah, that, that is because the thing they're doing is they're getting three yards, five yards, two yards, you know, and they keep that clock running and keep the defense on the field. Single back, that's Preston Martin. He got the first down. He's on his feet, first and 10, and he got it to the 48-yard line before hanging tough and not letting loose of him was Mason Miller. But that'll be a first down and another job done and job done very well by Preston Martin, the 160 pound junior quarterback. And that keeps that uh, Stanton River defense on the field. There's a lot more work to do. And it does, they've, they've gone now, we've gone four minutes into this second quarter and the Cavaliers have had the football after that, oh, there's going to be a bobble. And how about that? Just if you're a Stanton River fan, that's what the doctor ordered. They recover the fumble, and it looked like it was a bad snap. They really needed that, too. Gets the defense off the field, puts some momentum on Stanton River's side. So with 7.59 left here in the half, the Golden Eagles are back in business at the 41 and a half yard line in Botetourt territory. We'll see what Grayson Overstreet and this uh, offense can do. There it will go. That's Overstreet to the 35, Overstreet to the 30, and Overstreet down to the 29 yard line. Before he is upended, but Overstreet with a nice run and a good job done by Dylan Crawford. But just when things were going good for the Golden Eagles, here they hurt themselves because this football is going to be moved back to the line of scrimmage, and then they will mark off five, and there it is. So it will be a first and 15. And I didn't see it. I don't know if there was an illegal substitution there or whatever, but it is a five yard penalty and makes it first and 15 and they're back around the 47 yard line. There will be a run over the 45 down to about the 44. Once again, that's over street. And there was Noah over street to bring him down. They're not related, but the two good over streets. Noah for the Cavaliers and of course, Grayson Overstreet for the Stanton River Golden Eagles. So that will be a sh short game, make it second down and about 13. That makes it awfully tough for a running team when you're facing first down and long situation like that. Oh, you're exactly, that, that is, that's exactly what you don't want to have happen. Just like you don't want to get way behind if you're that type team. Here's Overstreet, he's got the room 40, 30, 25, and finally ridden out of bounds at the 23 yard line. And uh, 
pushing him out of bounds was David Braswell. And you might hear, Dave, the Stanton River coaching staff, they wanted a face mask on that one. They didn't get that, but they got the first down. I guess for most teams, first and 15 isn't good. When you got a back like that, it doesn't really seem to matter, does it? So they get it, first and 10 for the Golden Eagles. There will be the snap, and then penalty marker comes down. Penalty marker came down. Middle of the defense made it. It was a short game, but there's a penalty marker, and we'll see what this one is. Holding, that's gonna cost them and knock it back 10 yards. And as you say, for a running team, this isn't what you want where you get those first and 20s, second and 18, third and 10. It, it, it isn't conducive to that type of offense. Stanton River's not helping themselves with these uh, penalties here in the second period. No, they're not. So the clock moving along here. There will be the direct snap, and this time it's Caleb Jones, but Jones is gonna be stuck. The first guy to make contact with him was Dylan McLaughlin, and McLaughlin does his job, and they lose yardage, so it will be second down, and 22 now. Stanton River had a lot of movement and uh, trickery in the backfield there, but Lord Arbatata didn't buy any of it. They were ready for him. They certainly were. And now you're second and really long. Once again, you see that offensive set. Back to pass is Caleb Jones. He's got a man out there. Intercepted by Jake DeWeese. He's got it at the five. He's to the 20, 25 and pushed out of bounds at the 27 yard line. His second interception for Jake DeWeese as Caleb Jones fired it downfield and another turnover gives the football to the Cavaliers first and 10 and they'll mark it at the 29 yard line. And that's what happens when a running team is forced to uh, pass. Botetot was ready for him, had uh, two defenders on the receiver, came away with a pick. DeWeese with his second one. Boy, he has done a nice job for Coach Jamie Harless. And now back on defense will be the Golden Eagles. Of course, they're coached by Chuck Poston, who does a wonderful job with this Stanton River program. There's Martin. He'll take the direct snap and drive. Boy, did he get popped as he crossed the 30. About three of those guys get Met Joe Hainer was there. Preston Martin was lit up by Joe Hainer. And uh, how's this, Mr. Mellon? Joe Hainer's 6'4, 280. <laughs> so when you get hit by him, you ain't going far. Yeah, uh, Martin felt that one. <laughs> I so, felt it up here. So it will be uh, still a decent gain on first down. And there's another bad snap. And boy, that could have been dangerous again. It was bobbled by Martin. He fumbled it, and then it looked like uh, able to fall on that was Hunter Rice, so that would have been a major disaster. But they lose yardage back to the uh, 31, so now it's third and nine. Looked like the snap uh, wasn't too bad. Hit him in the hands, he just bobbled it. Well, it's 440 and counting left in the half, and the Lord Bonitat Cavaliers with a third and long, leading seven nothing in this game against Stanton River. There's gonna be the fake. Now rolling to his right and throwing is Martin. And this one is intercepted at the 35, still on his feet to the 30. And still going inside the 30 down to around the 25 yard line. That one, it looked like T.J. Tester picked that off. So interceptions have been by the fives, two by Jake DeWeese of the Cavaliers, and now one by 
TJ Tester, the 175 pound senior, and just like that, back on offense. And a turnover. It's a turnover about fair play right here, and it gives Stanton River great field position. There's that. There's Overstreet. Overstreet to the 20. Overstreet 15. Overstreet 10. Overstreet pushed out of bounds inside the five. Jake DeWeese pushes him out, but that's going to give him another first down. Penalty flag on the play. Oh, and here we go. Boy, that hurts. That's another penalty because Overstreet was inside the five yard line. And penalties and turnovers have really hurt this uh, Golden Eagle football team. This one will come back to the 30 and make it first down. And you're going to need 18 for the first down. And again, a long yardage situation for the Golden Eagles. Just joining us, it's seven nothing. Preston Martin, a touchdown and an extra point by Trey Rice and it's seven nothing, Lord Botetot. However, the Golden Eagles have it. There's Overstreet, Overstreet will dive to the 25, just shy of the original line of scrimmage. That'll make it now second down and 12 couple of those defenders were there, including Noah Overstreet. So second down and about 12 or 13 for the Golden Eagles. The football just shy of the 25 yard line. Clock moving at three and a half. There's Overstreet trying to get the corner. He's got it. Overstreet still on his feet and he drives close to first down yardage. That was a nice run by Overstreet. And Evan Eller was over there defensively along with Jake DeWeese. But it will be third down and about a half yard for the first down. Overstreet not only big, but uh, very quick getting around the corner there. Overstreet just a uh, wheel of a high school football player. There's no question about that. There will be the direct snap to Overstreet and he got the first down, I think. He moved that pile and uh, he got the first down. Give some credit to that offensive line of the Golden Eagles too. Sam Kirtley, that tight end, Trent Thomason, Dakota Williams, Mason Miller, Travis Watkins, Luke, Lucas De Domenico and Joe Hainer, there they do a good job on that offensive line. Give him the first down, and uh, it is a first and goal at the ten. There will be the snap. There's a bobble, and Overstreet has to fall on it, but he'll lose five yards back to the fifteen. Boy, you. Look at this, and uh, both of these teams have been having some problems. That time, again, they were able to at least get the football back where the Golden Eagles, but it makes it second and goal at the 15. A lot of mistakes. I don't know if it's just nerves playing in front of this intense crowd. I, I don't know. I don't think it's so much add to just uh, not operating at peak efficiency. Here it comes. That's Caleb Jones. Jones gets that yardage back on the loss inside the 10 down to about the nine yard line. And one of the first to meet him was Dylan Fralin. Fralin along with Crawford brought him down, but it'll be a third and goal, the ball at the nine yard line with the clock moving just over a minute left here in the first half. There it'll be. And that's Tester and Tester doesn't get much at all. First guy to make contact with him was Drew Wiley and they'll bring him down but not before 
He loses about a half yard. Now it's fourth and goal at the 10. That's a big stop for the uh, Lord Botata defense. No question about it. Clock is moving. They snap this. We'll be down to about 30 seconds left in the half. There it goes. That's Overstreet, and he's going to be sacked. Overstreet was looking to pass the ball, but not letting loose of him. It looked like it was Dylan Wade, and just like that, it will be a turnover on downs. And with 27 seconds left, the Cavaliers have it back inside the 20 at the 17. And he had nobody open and no time to get to a receiver if he did. So with a first down, we say no what uh, Coach Harless will do, whether he wants to go and do it. There's only, as I say, 27 seconds left. He'll take the knee, will the quarterback Preston Martin and that will end the first half of play. So one half is complete here at Lord Botetot. It's the Lord Botetot Cavaliers seven and the Stanton River Golden Eagles nothing. We will be back with third quarter action right after we take this time out. Student Playback High School Game of the Week continues next. You're watching Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. And we're ready here for the second half kickoff. Yours truly, Dave Ross, along with Dave Mellon. Seven nothing the score at the half and the kickoff by the Golden Eagles. This one will penalty marker going to come down. Going to mention that, uh, of course, Ken Wood gave us some of our statistics, and it was a case of a battle in that first half of the only uh, scoring, the touchdown run by Preston Martin after a short punt. They got down to the two yard line and from two yards out, Preston Martin scored and got the extra point from Trey Rice. That made it seven nothing and that's how we stood. A couple interceptions by Jake DeWeese of uh, Lord Bonitot and uh, one by TJ Tester of Stanton River. A few penalties, so our thanks to Kenwood for uh, stats there. Anyway, here we go, bud. A battle of turnovers in that first half too. <laughs> there will be the kickoff and this one will be a squib kick going to be taken and down right there but that's good field position that was just a squib kick and it was taken by Carlton uh, Emerson but they will have a tremendous field position right here just inside the 40 yard line at the 39. Not a good start for Stanton River in the second half. We s will see what goes here as the Lord Bonitot Cavaliers uh, back on offense. Stanton River on defense, seven nothing to score in favor of Lord Bonitot. There goes the big man, Rice. He broke a tackle and they let him go. Oh, Grayson Overstreet had him back at the 40 but he got away from that and was able to get to the 45 before Dakota Williams knocked him down. The first man hardly ever brings uh, Rice down. It takes uh, two or three to get him to the ground. Well, now they have it at the 45, and that's a nice gain of about six yards. Makes it second down and four. Just underway here in the second half. Played about a minute. There's going to be a penalty marker down. 
And that looks like uh, from the crowd reaction here on the Bonnetot side, looks as though it will be against the Golden Eagles. That'll cost them five, and that's going to give them a first down. Again, not uh, what Stanton River wanted to start this second half, trailing 7 nothing. Uh, you're exactly right, because this is a situation where you are behind 7 nothing. You always say that uh, first possession in the second half is so critical, and right now, Bonitot's in good position because they're at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. There's that direct snap. It goes, and that's Martin. Martin to the 45. Nice gain. You think about it, and although Ken has given us a number of statistics, we don't have time of possession, but I know that in that first half, Lord Bonitot had a lot of time of possession. Now that Stanton River defense was on the field for a long time. Now they're at the 45 in Stanton River territory, second and five. We've played a minute and a half of the second half. There's going to be the snap to Martin, and then he coming around from the right to left was Rice. He pitched it back to him, but he'll lose yardage. And uh, this will be a third down and seven as he lost two. Good defensive play right there by the uh, Golden Eagles. It was a bit of a reverse play there by Lord Bonitot, but Stanton River wasn't fooled. Now with a third and long, a very important play for both teams to see if Lord Bonitot can keep the drive alive or if the Golden Eagles can stop him here and maybe force a punt. There's Martin rolling to his right, being chased, going to throw complete to Jake DeWeese at the 32-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds over there, but not before he gets that first down. Overstreet, Grayson Overstreet did the job, but uh, certainly a very nice game thus far for Jake DeWeese. Two big interceptions and then that reception right there. A great route by the uh, receiver. He was open to the sideline and the quarterback threw a perfect pass. Boy, that's a big third down because they had third and seven. Now it keeps things moving along here. They've played three minutes of the third quarter and it's been Lord Bonitot with the football. There's a drive over the 30 down to about the 27, 28 yard line. That one, Rice and Rice got it, give him to the 28. Middle of that defense, Hainer and company were able to drop him, but not before a nice game. So second down and about five. And the Cavaliers are keeping this football away from Stanton River. This time Rice is upended about the 25 yard line. And uh, they were able to converge on him. Trent Thomason was there, Brock Porter was there, and it will be a gain to the 26, third down and four. Another one of those third down plays. What you think about it now, Dave, you're in two down territory. Right, they'll probably go for four downs on uh, this drive. DeWeese checks into the lineup, has the play from Coach Jamie Harless and his staff. There will be Martin looking, throwing. He's got DeWeese, touchdown. How about that? Preston Martin catches Jake DeWeese for the touchdown. And he just rolled to his left, bought some time, and then fired it right into the hands of Jake DeWeese, who had gotten behind the defense. A great route and a beautiful pass to a wide open receiver in the back of the end zone. That will make it 13-0. Trey Rice will try for the second extra point, but a very, very nice pass play for that one. Here's the snap, the kick is up, and it is good. So there's a timeout here, the score. Lord Bonitot, 14, Stanton River, nothing. We're back right after this. Student Playback, High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. All right, back we come, folks. Touchdown pass. Preston Martin, he's had a part in both of them. The one he ran in from a couple yards out, and this one he throws about uh, 25 yards for the touchdown to Jake DeWee. Showed some uh, great uh, touches on those passes. You wonder why they don't throw a little more often. I guess maybe that you think about it, they don't have to do that. <laughs> That's a good point. All right, they'll have the kickoff here. It is taken at the two, out to the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 45 yard line. <laughs> Caleb Jones took that one on about the two and carried it across midfield. And needless to say, Dave, Stanton River needed that one. They sure did. They were uh, in a hole there with the backs to the wall. Big kickoff return, gave them good field position. So Caleb Jones returns it to the 46 in the territory of Lord Botetot. That drive took uh, over four minutes off the clock by the Cavaliers. There's a run by Grayson Overstreet. Overstreet will get about five. He was tripped up there as he crossed the 45 into the 41. And uh, there to bring him down was Noah Overstreet with a little bit of help as well on that defense from Meade Mayo. But that's a nice game. Give him five, second and five at the 41. Cavaliers on defense. There it will be the direct snap, and that's going to be nice yardage down to about the 35-yard line. Caleb Jones took it. And they will bring him down. Once again, Mead Mayo was over there. And that will be a gain to the 35, so it'll be first and 10. And this they need desperately to get uh, a little bit of that momentum back from the Cavaliers. They do, and it'd be nice to get a score out of this drive. There is the handoff. That's Overstreet, and he gets good yardage. Now things are starting to go a little bit. That offensive line doing a nice job for the defense no overstreet on the tackle there but uh, the offensive line of guys like Trent Thomason Dakota Williams Mason Miller Travis Watkins and Louis D Domenico are opening up the holes and giving them now you have a second down and these are the kind of plays you want where it's second down four second down five especially for a running team like Stanton River there it goes this time it's a gain over the 30, maybe to the 29, that's Caleb Jones. He was met by Dylan Crawford and also Carlton Emerson. That'll be a gain to the 29. This is going to make it a third down and about four. And like Vodetot on their drive, this is probably four down territory for Stanton River. Oh, you're right, you're right. Being here inside the 30, you gotta figure they've got two downs to get four yards. Direct snap to Overstreet, fakes it, goes up the middle and drives. Penalty marker, however, came down. A penalty marker back at the 31. And if that's against, because he had, would have been about maybe a yard or a half yard shy of the first down, but let's see, illegal shift. That's going to cost them five. So and there again, these penalties and mistakes have really hurt the uh, Golden Eagles. They really pushed him uh, out of what would have been a fourth down in uh, maybe a yard or less. Make it third down. And now you're at third and ten. Again, as uh, Dave pointed out, probably two down or uh, four down territory because of the fact that the, they need to keep this football away from the Cavaliers and they need to get a first down and try and score. There will be the pass. Caleb Jones can't find anybody and he will stay on his feet. Great job by Caleb Jones inside the 30. He got to the 29 yard line. 
it looked like he was going to be hit way back around the 35 yard line but he kept fighting and now he has it inside the 30 they need about four for the first down. He just kept his legs churning they just couldn't bring him down another five or six yards he got on that play sam kirtley comes into the lineup for the golden eagles gets the play from coach chuck boston with a fourth down and uh five and a half for the first down Tester comes in motion, takes it. He's at the 30, he's at the 20, he's at the 15, he's at the 10, the five, touchdown, T.J. Tester. How do you like that, T.J. Tester? He came around from his right side to the left, took it, and then he picked up speed and momentum and gets a touchdown. And the defense went one way and he went the other. Uh, hats off, now they get the uh, touchdown. Kirtley will be on to try the point after to try and add the point after. The kick is up and it is good. So with a timeout here on the field, the score, Lord Botetot 14, Stanton River seven. We got a good one. We'll be back right after this. Student Playback High School Game of the Week continues next. You're watching Student Playback High School Game of the Week. Sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. And uh, we come back to uh, action here. There was a penalty uh, against the Golden Eagles. And it looked like they, against the uh, Cavalier, declined. So... What they're saying is the extra point was not good. It's at 14-6, but that I thought they said the extra point was good when it went through the uprights. It signaled it good as it went through. Then there was a flag on the play. There was, but all that should mean is you go back five yards or whatever and re-kick it. Officials talking about this, and this is a little bit of, I think coming back out are the uh, Golden Eagles, because what this is going to do, he'll have to re-kick this. That's what they're saying, uh, and it comes back to the eight-yard line, so he'll have to re-kick this one. Kirtley knocked the first one through. And of course, you do want to make this. Tester, the young man who got the touchdown run, is the holder. But you do want to get uh, behind on this thing. So we'll have the snap. The kick is up, and he still gets it through. So the Golden Eagles of Stanton River finally do their job and make it 14 to 7. We'll be back with a kickoff right after we take this time out. Student Playback High School Game of the Week will be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Well, back we come. The Touchdown run by T.J. Tester, and then the extra point by Sam Kirtley. That's how we stand here at a score of 14 to seven. And they'll kick this off. And actually, that might have been, I don't know if it was Kirtley kicked that. It might be the guy kicking off. Adam Johns, he's 99, and Kirtley's 89. But uh, anyway, they get the extra point 
Here's going to be a good return close to the 30 yard line. And that's where the Cavaliers of Lord Bonnetot will take over. So I think that was probably Adam Johns on the uh, placement. And uh, he knocked it through, not curtly. And that makes it a 14 7 score. And the Cavaliers of Lord Bonnetot have it. First and 10 with just a tad over four minutes remaining here in this third quarter of play. Lord Bonnetot, Preston Martin and company trying to answer that touchdown by the Golden Eagles. There's the snap and that's Rice. He will drive over the 30 down to about the 33 yard line and a penalty marker comes down. See what this one is. He got to the 32. Big cheer from the Sand River side. Yeah, and it looks like it might have been a little bit of a post curricular activity on that one. Let's see. Personal foul, and that's what it is against Lord Bodetot, and that hurts you because that's 15 yards, and that's going to move this football all the way back inside the 20 yard line. They'll mark this at the 17. Boy, that's a big, big turnaround because Rice had gained decent yardage on first down. Now, with that penalty, it's first, first down and about uh, 22, 23 yards for the first down. They've got to get out to the 38-yard line, and here is going to be a timeout called by the Lord Bonnetot Cavaliers, and we'll take one as well. The score, Lord Bonnetot at 14, Stanton River 7. We'll be back with more third quarter action right after this. Student Playback, High School Game of the Week continues next. You're watching Student Playback High School Game of the Week. Sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Back here at Lord Bonneton High School. Great night for high school football. Hope you're enjoying the action here on CW5. Dave Ross along with Dave Mellon. Second and long for the Lord Bonneton Cavaliers. Martin's looking to pass. He throws. It is caught by DeWeese. Deweese caught it at about the 32, 33 yard line. Grayson Overstreet brought him down, but uh, give him yardage to the 35, and that's a heck of a throw because now it makes it third down and about four. Defense was playing for a long pass there, and the receiver just cut the route short, and the quarterback delivered right on the money. Three and a half and counting left here in this third quarter of play and the Cavaliers of Lord Bonnetot, big third down play for both of these teams. Here we go, there is Martin gonna throw it out in the flat and drop. That one was hit right on the nose and uh, maybe trying to run with it uh, before he had it was Ethan Clower, but it goes incomplete. And that's a big defensive play for Stanton River because they'll get the football back. He had a couple of defenders in front of him. It would have been close if he'd have made a first down with a catch. Fun, isn't it? Uh, I believe so. I believe. One for uh, Stanton River earlier. So that here will be the punt, and this win is way, way high. Boy, he gets a good bounce, my gracious. That thing I thought was gonna go out of bounds at about midfield, but instead it bounces and it's all the way back to the 32. So they got the punt off and now. These it, two teams offenses, the punters probably don't get much practice. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's something you are on these two teams. You're not punting a whole lot. Now, with the way they score, the kickoff guys get a lot of work because they're some of the scores that th 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 these two teams have put up in the 50-60 range. Stanton River back with a football. 
There will be the direct snap. And that's Caleb Jones to the 40. And Caleb Jones close to first down yardage at the 41. He's upended over there by. So Jones got it. Dylan Fralin brought him down, but give him nice yardage to the 41. So now you got second and short. This again is what they like. Second, short, third and short where you've got that opportunity with this ground game to get first down. Really puts the pressure on the defense. Direct snap, there's Jones again, and Jones is getting a lot of the carries here tonight, and he got the first down out close to the 45-yard line. Bottom of that uh, pile was Carlton Emerson. So Emerson with a tackle. Now you have it at the 45. First and 10, fresh set of downs. And clock moving down toward the two minute mark remaining here in the third quarter. Overstreet not getting his typical numbers tonight, but the, uh, his teammates are making up for it. Exactly, they're using Caleb Jones here a lot. And there's the fake. Jones is gonna keep it again. He's trying to find, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jake DeWeese was the first guy that turned him up, and then the pursuit finished him off. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Could have been a loss. That'll make it second down and 10. And the defense was ready for him that time. He had nowhere to go. No, he didn't. So second and 10. Lord Bottertot. Leading 14-7, Stanton River with a football. It's been a heck of a high school football game and hope you're enjoying the action here on CW5. There will be Overstreet close to midfield. Upended there by Mead Mayo. Don't forget, we do want to mention if you're interested in high school football, wants stats, interviews, and a lot of information, Remember, Carl York's Crunch, it's available at many locations. It's a wonderful publication if you're into high school football. Carl York's Crunch, and glad to have them a part of our high school football telecast. Here we go, third down and about six for the first down. Another third and long situation here. Here goes Overstreet, 45, Overstreet 40, Overstreet 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Grayson Overstreet. How do you like that? Grayson Overstreet took that one. Close to 50 yards and now an extra point away from tying this football game. Looked like Bodetot had him at least twice on that run. He got away from him both times. And it is Adam Johns who's the place kicker. My mistake, and I apologize to that young man. I thought it was Kirtley, but it's John. This one's kick is up, and it is good. So all of a sudden, with uh, just 32 seconds left here in the third quarter, it's 14-14. We'll take a timeout and be back right after this. Student Playback High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Well, back we come, ladies and gentlemen. Touchdown run by Grayson Overstreet. As uh, David mentioned, that helped, kept him pretty much in uh, check, but he gets a long touchdown run. Also had that nice touchdown run earlier by TJ Tester, and then the two point afters by Adam Johns, and we're even at 14. So there you have it. They have done what they had to do, and uh, we're down to the final 32 seconds of this third quarter. Here will be the kickoff. It'll come down, bounce at about the 15, be picked up there. And nice return to about the 35-yard line. And uh, with that return for the Bonnetot Cavaliers, looked like it might have been picked up by Kyle 
Kuhn, and Kuhn able to uh, bring it out to the 35. That's where they'll have it, first and 10. Might have time for probably one, maybe two plays at most here in this third quarter. Once again, you see Rice behind the quarterback, Martin. They're gonna give it to Rice, and Rice drives his way to about the 40. He was submarine by Caleb Jones down there and then finished off by Tester. But uh, that will probably be, as they wrap this up, they won't need to snap another one, and they'll count this down, and the third quarter will be history. That gets us through three quarters after a touchdown run by Grayson Overstreet and Adam John's extra point. We are even. It's Lord Botetot 14, the Golden Eagles of Stanton River 14. We're back with the fourth quarter right after this. Student playback, high school game of the week continues next. You're watching Student Playback High School Game of the Week. Sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. Well, back we come. And it's been interesting here from our info from our stat man, Ken Wood. Give you a little bit of that. There's Hunter Rice. He'll drive close to first down yardage out around the 45-yard line. Upended there by that defender, Joe Hayner. But looking at this, of course, Lloyd Bonatot was three of four in that passing in the third quarter. Got that nice touchdown pass play to DeWeese. And uh, Stanton River, of course, coming up with that touchdown run by Grayson Overstreet and the extra point by Johns to tie it after TJ Tester ran for a nice one. So stats here from uh, Kenwood, pretty much uh, even there in that third quarter at play, and here we are in the fourth quarter. And Rice is gonna lose yardage. Good submarine tackle in there by that uh, defense, Grayson Overstreet. And uh, looked like Mason Miller was also there. That'll be a loss of a couple, second and 12. Good job by Overstreet and his defensive mates there just busting through that offensive line and uh, hitting Rice behind the line of scrimmage. All right. Here we go with a second and long. It's back to Martin. Martin rolling to his right, looking, looking, throwing, and in and out of the hands of DeWeese. He was being covered over there by Caleb Jones and Overstreet. But that goes incomplete. By, I think it was tipped away by Overstreet. Just uh, enough on it. He was in front of the receiver, and Jones was right by the receiver. And between the two of them, they made sure that DeWeese didn't get it. Now you've got a third and 11. And you can start to see, Dave, a little of this momentum starting to shift. Started with that the big kickoff return earlier in the second half. They will get it to Martin. Martin this time rolling to his left, being pressured. He throws it, and it is incomplete. It hit that ground. They were trying to get that to Hunter Rice, but it hit the ground, so it's incomplete. And that's going to mean it will be fourth down. And the football will go back to the Golden Eagles with 10.20 left here in this fourth quarter. 14-14 is the score. Mead Mayo will be in to punt this win, and of course he got that punt that looked like it was gonna go short, but he got a heck of a bounce on his last punt. This one he gets it, and again it's a high, high punt, and this time it goes out of bounds, and that's not gonna be a long punt, because he was 
line of scrimmage was the 44. That is about an 11 yard punt because they're going to have the football now at the uh, 45. And that gives good field position for Stanton River and it keeps the momentum on their side. Lord Bonitad, who had control throughout uh, most of the first half, but here in the second half, things have started to go the way of the Golden Eagles and they're back in business. There'll be the snap, running with a football and gaining yardage to the midfield stripe. Once again, that's Caleb Jones. They're using him a lot. A not mark him down just inside midfield in Bonitat territory. And one of the things that happens with both of these football teams is the fact that uh, you have the ability to not only gain yardage, but use that clock very effectively. And that's gonna be on Stan River's side here. They can uh, sustain this drive for a while. The ball just inside midfield. Here they go. And that's TJ Tester. He has a touchdown run. He gets to the 45. He was knocked down in there by, among others on that uh, defense, Drew Wiley. But that's a gain enough for the first down at the 45. First and 10. Things moving along in this one. Hope you're enjoying it on our CW5 Game of the Week between the Cavaliers, Abonatot, and Stanton River. There's a fake, and they go straight ahead down to about the 41, 42-yard line. At time, it was snap, and it went to Overstreet, and Overstreet Met the middle of that uh, defense, Colston Powers and company drop him, but not before he gets uh, some positive yardage to the 42. And this uh, Bonitad crowd is uh, quieted down a bit here. A little nervous, I think. I'll tell you what, you couldn't fit anybody else in here. They're lined up around the fences and everything else here. This has been a masterful football game. There's Caleb Jones going to give it, and that's going to be a first down uh, over the 35-yard line. Hanging tough and bringing him down was Carlton Emerson, but that's a first down for the Golden Eagles, and it'll keep things moving and grooving for Stanton River. It keeps the clock moving as well. They snap this. We will be through about four minutes of this fourth quarter. And things have really started to change for this Stanton River football team. Here they go, there's the handoff. That's Overstreet, Overstreet for about four down to about the 26. Once again, Emerson there, Jake DeWeese is there. But uh, give him to the, they'll mark it at the 32. Gain of three, second and seven. This is the kind of drive you'd like to use as much of that clock as possible and get into the end zone. I think uh, the Golden Eagles are just gonna try to grind it out on the ground here. Say, we're heading toward the seven minute mark and there's gonna be a timeout called by Stanton River. And so we'll take one as well. The score remaining here, Lord by the top 14. Stanton River 14, we're back right after this. Student Playback, High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback, High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Dave, here we go, second and seven. The football at the 32 in Bonitat territory. And we are down to about seven minutes remaining here in this fourth quarter. There's the snap back to Caleb Jones, and Jones 
will drive over the 30 down to about the uh, market 28 yard line. Big number 72 was there. That's Jesse Hansen. But that's a gain to the 28. Here we go. Boy, you talk about a big one. Third, you need about three for the first down, but again, you got two downs to get it. But now that crowd is getting into it here on the bottom top side, trying to spur their defense along. There goes, they got the first down and more to the 20-yard line. That's Grayson Overstreet. Boy, he just took that one. And he drives for a, a good gain there. And that will bring on a first and 10 with a football at the 20-yard line. Once again, the Golden Eagles, there will be some yardage over the 20 down to about the 17 or 18 yard line. That was over street. That was uh, Carlton Emerson on the bottom of that pile. But a gain of four, so it's second and six. And now you are down to 540 and counting left here. So this is a nitty gritty time for both of these teams. There's a direct snap to Overstreet. Overstreet burrows his way down over the 15. Now we've seen Adam Johns. He's kicked a couple extra points. I don't know whether he has the ability to kick a field goal, but you would be in that range as you keep moving this football. I think we'll see them go for a, a first down or try to kick a field goal. I think they might go for the first down. You want to be, you've gone this far, you might as well try. you got two downs to get five yards. Third and five at the 15. Right back to Caleb Jones. Jones will be stopped at the 13, so that will be a gain of two. Emerson was there, also had some help from Evan Eller. Mark it at the 13, for, uh, yeah. Stanton River, whether they go for it or kick a field goal. And I think Coach Poston's telling Brock Porter they were gonna go for it. So it's fourth down, you need three for the first down and they quickly come out of the huddle. We'll see, will Overstreet get it? Caleb Jones get it, but there's gonna be a timeout and it will be called by Botetot. There you have it. Well, we have a timeout here with a big fourth and three. 14-14 is the score between Lord Botetot and Stanton River. And we'll be back with more fourth quarter activity right after this. Student Playback High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week. Sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. All right, folks, here you are. Fasten your seatbelts. We're going to have a nice ride to the end of this game. Brock Porter will call the signals. It will go back, and this is Grayson Overstreet. Overstreet to the 10, Overstreet to the 5, Overstreet touchdown. How do you like that? Grayson Overstreet gets the touchdown and that now gives Stanton River the lead with Adam Johns on to try the extra point. They had a chance to stop him, but a, a stiff arm and then a great move there right at the goal line, put him in the end zone. This is why he is such a gifted running back. 
Johns will try the extra point. The snap, the kick is up, and it is good. And that now makes the score 21 for Stanton River, 14 for Lord Botetot. We'll keep it right here as uh, we're down to the final four minutes in regulation. This is just what we thought it would be, isn't it? Oh, this has been a great game. Uh, you know, you look at it, you had Botetot, which had that early lead, and now all of a sudden here in the second half, behind the running of Caleb Jones, TJ Tester, and Grayson Overstreet, the uh, Golden Eagles have taken control. And let's also credit that Stanton River defense because they've held in check uh, this Lord Botetot team. Of course, we had the touchdown pass from Preston Martin to Jake DeWeese, but uh, since then, they've held them in check. And Grayson Overstreet's put a show here on the uh, second half. He certainly has. Johns will kick this one off. Back deep are the Cavaliers. Gets his foot into it. This is going to come down to Coom. Coom at the 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, and knocked down at the 40. Boy, I tell you what, that was the kicker that took a shot at him and knocked him down. You don't normally see that, but he brought down Coom as he got to the 30 eight yard line, so a good return. And he stopped him dead in his tracks too. Well, with that, it gets us just inside four minutes remaining and you got a first and 10 for this Cavalier football team now trailing by seven. And for a team that relies on the run, it's uh, hard to score in a hurry. Oh, that's right. These, that's not how these teams are set up. There goes Rice. Race to the 40, 45, and down to the 47 yard line. At the bottom of that pile, once again, who's played a nice game, Tony Chinchilla. That will be a good gain of nine yards, though. And I think we're going to see a lot of Hunter Rice in this drive. Certainly will. They might switch it out with Martin. You can see two slots to the left and there's martin martin 50 and he got the first down to the 49 ripping him down there were the golden eagles and they stop him brock porter able to drop him but not before he gets that first down first and ten just inside golden eagle territory and uh, Martin slipped as he was trying to cut back inside or he'd have picked up a few more yards. There it goes, there goes Rice. Rice is to the 40 yard line and maybe enough for another first down. Let's see where they spot it. Nope, they bring it back to the 40 so he's about a half yard shot. There's gonna be a timeout here and uh, we will Take one as well with a score here. Stanton River, 21, Lord Botetot, 14. We're back right after this. Student Playback, High School Game of the Week continues next. You're watching Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. All right, folks, here we come. Each team has one timeout remaining. Second and short for the Cavaliers. This time Martin's got it. First down and more over the 35 to the 33. TJ Tester brought him down. That'll stop the clock momentarily to set the chain. First down. Mark it at the 34 in the territory of Stanton River. They lead, do the Golden Eagles by seven. 
Snap. There's going to be Rice. Rice keeps on his feet. And they twirl him around, and he gets close to another first down. He'll be just shy. But this has been a heck of a drive here by the Cavaliers. They really responded well after the Stanton River touchdown that put the Golden Eagles ahead. Second down and two. They have the football inside the 30. There's Preston Martin, and I think he got the first down. He needed to get just across the 25. He was upended there over there on that uh, defense. One of those to get a hold of him, Dakota Williams. And also Trent Thomason, but that will be a first down. First and 10, mark it at the 24. And we're inside of two minutes left here in regulation. There is Rice. Rice fights his way down to the 20. Right there was TJ Tester. A little bit of uh, help there as well from Brock Porter. But that's a nice gain. Give him about four on the play, second down and six. Minute and a half and counting left. Here goes Martin looking to throw. Got it and caught. It is caught at the 18-yard line. Able to get that over there on that right side. Looked like that time might have got it to Coom, but that will be enough to get them to a third and short. Down to a minute 26. One timeout remaining for both teams. There will be the handoff, that's Rice. Rice drives not quite maybe the first down yardage. They'll mark that just outside the 10 yard line and he's gotta get down, or I mean the uh, 15. He's gotta get probably a yard and a half or two here. Clock is running, we're inside of a minute. There they go. There's the run, and Martin, it will depend on the spot. He got racked. He got inside the 15, but he got leveled. One of those to be in on that tackle is uh, Antonio Dunmire. And we'll see. And he got the first down, didn't it? Yeah. It depends now, he, he had it, and then of course he was hit and knocked back. But that's tough because that's the uh, quarterback, Preston Martin. <laughs> this has been an interesting football game. And while they attend to Preston Martin, we're going to take a time out here with a score 21 for the Stanton River Golden Eagles and 14 for the Lord Botetot Cavaliers. We'll be back with more fourth quarter action right after we take this time out. Student Playback High School Game of the Week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Student Playback High School Game of the Week, sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. All right, they've had to take uh, Preston Martin off the field and uh, hope that it's not too serious. It didn't look good, but uh, he is needless to say out of this game and hope that it is the type thing he'll be able to come back on. They now, uh, the key is where the football is and I don't know the officials uh, not sure what they uh, are discussing here
The football is, uh, depends on that spot. If where he is standing, it would be a first down, but I, I don't know. I don't know what the discussion is. Now they're coming over and talking things over with Stanton River. And talking to Coach Poston. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure. This reminiscent of that uh, Dinwiddie-Salem game when it got down toward the end of it. And now Stanton River going over to talk to Coach Poston. And the officials are meeting out there at about the 15-yard line. This is taking up a fair amount of time. But I. Yeah. I'm still not sure. I wished I could tell you, Dave, but I'm not. I, I don't know what the discussion is about. We're. It appears. I, I thought that was maybe one of the. Trainers is out there. Student playback high school game of the week continues next. You're watching student playback high school game of the week sponsored by Fisher Financial Insurance Agency. All right, folks, well, we had a long, long, I mean, a long respite here. Of course, Preston Martin was injured. That was one thing, but there was a problem of a medical situation in the stands, and that's why we've had this, and uh, hope that uh, everything is all right. Now they're going to measure to see if he got the first down. He did. He got the first down by about the uh, nose of the football. So what that's going to mean is they will have a first and 10 at the 14. Now, as I mentioned, Dave, I, I would think if you set the chains, the clock will start running again once the official says it's ready for play. So let's see. There it is, it has started. So they snap this, we're gonna be down to about 40 seconds. Now remember, they do have a timeout. And there it is. Now the quarterback who is in there now is Evan Eller. Remember, they do have a timeout and they're gonna have to take it right here. We'll keep it here because uh, but this is it, 29 seconds. So here's the deal, Dave, let's face it. With that being there, or maybe they do, is that still one? They, they still have one up there on the board. I thought they only had one and this would have been it. But anyway, no timeouts left. So what that means is you have to get the ball either in the end zone, you have gotta get out of, there's something because if you don't, that thing's going to run out with just 29 seconds. And that's a tough position for a backup quarterback to be in to come in in a game like this in this situation. Oh, yeah, you talk about pressure. And the backup quarterback is Evan Eller. Off to his right is Hunter Rice. 20, and now... Stan <laughs> is taking a timeout. I got to tell you, folks, you talk about what was a fast moving game in the last <laughs> whatever it has been an eternity. Now, what that means is neither team has a timeout. 
either this thing is decided and uh, Stanton River would pick up a victory or it would go into could go into overtime. Of course, a guy misses an extra point, it'd, it'd be over that way as well. It was tough for both teams after that long uh, wait they had. You're right. You're right. That had momentum. They were driving. Well, they got the first down, but then on first down, they only got about a yard and a half. So it's second down and long. And we'll see with Eller, the quarterback. There he is. He's looking. He's going to throw. Throws it, and he threw it wide. They were trying to get it over on that right side to DeWeese, but he was covered over there by T.J. Tester. So that's going to be a incomplete pass. Now it's third and eight, and that uh, just used four seconds. Almost forces him into a passing situation with the uh, clock running out and no timeouts. It is because you, yeah, you really can't take a chance of running the football because if you don't get the first down, that thing is running. Here goes Eller, looking, going to throw it. It is complete, but he gets out of bounds. Now where they spot it. Let's see where they'll. It look, no, it is not a first down. It's fourth down and a less than a yard. They have it at the five. So it comes down to this. It, yeah, you're right. Only, here's a run, driving, driving. He did not get in. He did not get in. There they go. There they, what they did is they just put the spike the ball down to do it. Now you're down to seven seconds. And the ball is at the three yard line. I'll tell you what. This, wow. I, I tell you, it's old Dave Mellon's come to a heck of a barn burner in this game. Here we go with a, here they go. They're going to run. He didn't get in. He did not get in. He went to the left side and is stopped at the one yard line. And the Golden Eagles are going to win this football game. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Looks like he had some open room to his left, but it, it did. Up yeah, it did. I think once he started going to the left, everybody came toward him, and that did it. It was a heck of a football game, and I mean, wow. I got to tell you, Dave, I've been doing a lot of these. There aren't many better than this to go down to basically the last play and a yard away from a touchdown to possibly tie it again. It was everything we hoped it would be. Well, that wraps it up. The final score here, the Golden Eagles of Stanton River 21 and the Lord Bonitot Cavaliers 14. And uh, my thanks to Dave Mellon, to Ken Wood, our stat man, and to our great staff from Franklin County. Until next week, this is Dave Ross saying thanks for watching and we'll see you again. This has been Student Playback High School Game of the Week. Recorded, edited, and produced entirely by the students of Franklin County High School. Join us next Saturday starting at 4 p.m. for Student Playback High School Game of the Week exclusively on WWCW, The CW Virginia.